The latest machine simulator, EasyPLC version 4.1, now has a Modbus server driver. This will allow the PLC or other controlling device to be the client in the Modbus network. Machine simulators play a critical role in industrial automation as they allow you to replicate real-world scenarios and test the functionality of different machines in a virtual environment. This helps identify and resolve potential issues before they occur in the production environment, saving time and resources. Modbus server drivers are essential in the industrial automation because they enable communications between various devices in the Modbus network. This allows for the exchange of critical data between different components of the industrial system facilitating the seamless operation of the machinery and ensuring efficient productivity. We will use the Do More Designer PLC Simulator Modbus Scanner to connect to the newest Modbus server driver of the machine simulator. Modbus TCP or Ethernet will be used. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Understanding Machine Simulator Modbus Server Driver A Modbus Server Driver is a software component that allows a device or system to communicate between the Modbus protocol as a server. The Modbus protocol is developed to establish communication between industrial electronic devices in the context of a server driver. The software can respond to requests and provide data to client devices and adhere to the Modbus protocol. This allows for exchanging information and control commands between different devices within the network. Typically, a Modbus server driver handles the communication and data exchange ensuring that devices can effectively communicate and share data. Modbus memory is divided into four different areas. Discrete output coils and discrete input contacts deal with bit logic. This means they are either on or off, one or zero. Analog input registers and analog output holding registers are 16-bit words. The interpretation of this information in the word register depends on the Modbus client requesting the information. Every Modbus server on the network will have four available memory areas to read or write information. Please reference the manuals of your Modbus server to see how your device uses this memory. In the machine simulator, the Modbus server driver allows you to choose the memory location area for the digital inputs and outputs and analog inputs and outputs. Setting up the machine simulator Modbus server driver. We will use the pre-built scene in the machine simulator or MS. Start the machine simulator and select the machines icon on the top menu. You can also select the open machine start simulation on the main page. All the pre-built machines will now be displayed. These have been programmed so you can immediately start learning with this package. We will be using the O1 Easy Transfer line. Selections will be displayed as you move your mouse over the machine's icon. Select the explanation point in the upper right corner. This will display the machine description of what you need to program. Select Close. The demo mode will show you the workings of the machine. It will demonstrate how the machine is to function. Select Start. The machine simulator will now load the easy transfer line. In the bottom left corner you will see that we have no PLC connected. Select IO Drivers on the top menu under the driver name. You will see that Easy PLC is selected by default. Select Easy PLC to call up the machine simulator drivers. Select Modbus Server Driver. The Modbus Server Driver uses TCP IP protocol on Ethernet to communicate with the other Modbus devices and software. Select the Configure button. We will now assign the machine simulator to the four different Modbus memory areas. In our case, the PLC's coil outputs will be the MS digital inputs. The PLC digital inputs will be the MS digital outputs. Although our machine does not use any analog inputs, we will still set this up. 
Modbus PLC holding registers will be used for the analog inputs and the PLC analog input registers will be the MS's analog outputs. Analog scaling and subtraction factors are used in the machine simulator to represent negative numbers since Modbus analog is strictly a 16-bit word. Select OK. Our PLC inputs and outputs are now displayed. We can now assign the inputs and outputs to our machine simulator I.O. This can be done by click and dragging the PLC input to the machine simulator input and the PLC output to the machine simulator output. However, you can select automatic assignment from the driver menu. This will automatically assign the inputs and outputs in the order they appear, saving you time. Select automatic assignment. Under the exit menu, select start driver and exit. Our easy transfer line is now ready for communication. This is shown by the green driver connected indication on the bottom left of the screen. Select UIO to show the MS's input and output status. Since this is a Modbus server setup, we can use multiple Modbus clients to connect to our machine simulator. The IP address of our MS easy transfer line will be the IP address of the local computer running the software. If you are unsure, start a command prompt on your Windows computer. Type the command ipconfig space slash all and press enter. You will now see the IP address listed. We will need to know this for the Modbus client device. Setting up the Do More PLC Simulator Modbus Scanner and Test. We will now set up and test the Modbus client for our network. Start the Do More Designer programming software. Select the new icon on the main menu to start a new offline program. In the new offline project window, select Do More Simulator. Name the new project and select OK. Remember to select the save icon on the main menu during our programming to ensure that we don't lose any information while we work. Add an end statement to the latter logic program. This will prevent errors while we test our Modbus client communications to the machine simulator Modbus server. Since we are offline for the Do More PLC simulator, we will not be able to see the IP address of the PLC. Select the Do More Simulator icon on the main menu. The Do More Simulator PLC will now be displayed. The mode of our PLC can be set by the switch on our simulator. We will leave this as Terminal or TERM mode to control the mode from our Do More Designer software. Returning to the programming software, select the right PLC icon on the main menu. This transfers our ladder logic with the end statement and overrides our existing program in the PLC simulator. Change the PLC mode by selecting it from the mode icon on the main menu of the Do More Designer. Select System Configuration under Tools in the Project Browser menu. You can also select System Configuration on their Main Menu PLC. The CPU configuration is shown by default. You will see the IP address under the Internal Ethernet Port Configuration. Parameters for the Modbus server are also shown. This is on by default, so our PLC can be both a client and server on our Modbus TCP network. Select Modbus I.O. Scanner under the I.O. Configuration on the left side of the System Configuration window. Select the Enable Modbus I.O. Scanner service. This will now allow you to select the Add Blank device. The Edit Modbus I.O. Scanner device window will now be displayed. A Modbus TCP client will be selected as the default. We can now add the IP address and unit number of the server we wish to communicate with. The machine simulator Modbus server driver uses machine number one. Our read and write intervals will be set for 10 milliseconds each. This is 100 times per second that the update will happen for our Modbus information. Select the add com button. 
We will read eight digital inputs and store them in the field PLC memory location MI1 to MI8. We will also read a coil and store them in the field PLC memory location MC1 and MC8. Select OK to return to the system configuration menu. Select OK to return to the main Do More Designer software. A warning message will inform you that you have changed the system configuration, which must be transferred to the PLC. Select OK. Select the right PLC icon on the main menu to transfer the program. Select Modbus Device Scanner from the main menu debug. You will see that we have an error. This is displayed as couldn't open TCP connection. Return to the Modbus IO scanner in the system configuration menu. You will see that I have set the IP address for the server incorrectly. Correct the IP address. Transfer the program. Call up the Modbus scanner monitor once again. Select the Clear All Status Field button. You'll now see that we have communication with our Modbus simulator, Modbus server. Let's test the addresses now that we have communicated with the server. Select Data View, New from the main menu, or Control plus Shift plus F3. We can now monitor the inputs and outputs we read and write to the Modbus server. To select the next available in the data view list, use the control and enter keys. Viewing the machine simulator's easy transfer line, we can control and monitor the Modbus input and output bits. Write the PLC ladder logic code. We have covered the PLC programming development in our streamlined programming do more easy PLC transfer host. The PLC ladder logic program follows the five steps to PLC program development. Under the tools option in the main menu, select documentation editor. We can now label the inputs and outputs for our ladder logic program. Using online editing, we can enter our program. The first two lines will control the conveyor. Rungs 3 and 4 will control the lights in the control panel of our machine simulator scene.
When the photocell sees the high boxes, the pneumatic pusher is activated. When the pusher reaches the extended position, it will reset the pneumatic pusher. The end statement indicates that this is the end of the program and continues the PLC scan. Ensure that Do More Simulator is in run mode. We can run the Machine Simulator Easy Transfer line to ensure the ladder logic is correct. One of the biggest advantages of the MS Simulator server the driver is the ability to have multiple clients. This means that we can have multiple PLCs controlling the Machine Simulator scene. This new MS Modbus server driver will allow you to practice PLC programming in new ways. Explore and take advantage of this new ability for industrial applications. Let me know your ideas in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data locking, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to hit the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.